Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Skids. And yes, I know, I am way behind reviewing this guy. I have had him for about three weeks now, but I keep getting newer stuff and I just keep pushing skids farther and farther back but now he is in front of the camera. So let's take a quick look at the box. You got skids right there behind that open window on Hasbro's new tamper-proof packaging. Transformers there on the side, Transformers Legacy, and some great artwork of skids in vehicle mode, totally armed to the teeth and opening fire. That is wild. Side of the box, we got more great artwork, a close-up of skids face and a full body shot. Back of the packaging shows the combined weapon mode, skids in vehicle mode, skids in robot mode, and the QR code that you can scan to get a bio or tech spec of skids. This side of the box features the splash art showing Optimus Prime, Hot Rod, RC, Blaster, and Bulkhead. So now, without further ado, let's get skids opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now once you get skids all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. He also comes with three different weapons. You get this single barrel pistol, a double barrel pistol, and this transparent blue energy axe or blaster. Really not sure what that's supposed to be. And then of course you've got Skids himself. Now the first thing you want to do when you take Skids out of the packaging is down here on the side of the foot, take the wheels and fold these up and under the foot. That is how he's supposed to be. That is very G1 accurate. And speaking of G1 accurate, just look at this guy. Legacy is killing it with these Generation 1 figures. I mean, they look like updated versions of those classic toys. He retains that blocky look, same color scheme, and when I get into the transformation, it's almost the same as the Generation 1 toy. Now, taking a closer look at Skids, love the face sculpt. That looks awesome. Great paint job as well. Silver face, the blue eyes, bright red Autobot logo there on the chest. You got the silver grill, the headlights, the signal lights down here. Great sculpted details as well. Pinstripes along the doors. Moving on down, that's about it for the paint applications. Got more pinstripes there on the side of the calves. But this guy just looks great. I, I can't get over this. I mean, how long has it been since we've had a retail release skids? I know this is the first skids that I've actually bought since Generation 1. I missed out on the Thrilling 30 IDW version, never found him. So, yeah, I am really impressed that we got a skids. Now, articulation for skids, the head is on a ball joint. It can look up, it can look down, it can do a complete 360. The arms could do a complete 360 as well, but... They are going to run into the doors back here. And another thing about this figure that's really surprised me, 
The joints on mine are so tight. And I mean, it is every joint on this figure. So arms could do a complete 360. They can go out. They can go in. Of course, there's on it. they're on a hinge right there. So you want to watch that. There's an elbow bend. There is a elbow rotation. Let's see. There is wrist rotation. But like I said, that is tight. I mean, I'm putting some pressure on there. Look, it's dented my thumb. There is waist rotation. Legs can go out. They can go in. They can go forward. <laughs> tight joints again. They can go back. There is a knee bend. There is a thigh thrust. Yeah, thigh rotation, and there is ankle tilt. So yeah, lots of tight joints on this guy, and he's got lots of great posability. Now looking around the figure, there's also not a lot of waffling that everybody complains about. I mean, they did a real good job filling this figure up. Except if you look kind of right through there, he's got a little bit of a gap, but it's not too bad. So yeah, he's a really, really good looking homage the generation one skit. Now taking a look at the weaponry here, of course the weapons can go in either hand. We've got the single blaster here. We've got the double blaster right there. Let's get those plugged in and a tight fit. Now the single blaster doesn't seem to be blast effect compatible, but the double blaster is. But let's see, let's go ahead and check that out. I do happen to have a blast effect laying on my desk. So, yes, the single blaster is blast effect compatible. And I can see the little pegs right here on the double blaster. It is as well. So yeah, we still got some blast effect compatibility. Now you can also take these weapons and the way I like to do it, man, this is a tight fit. You can take both these weapons and combine them together into a triple barrel blaster. So put that in Skid's hand here. And then you've got this, this thing, put that in his hand. So he's got this ax weapon or take this off and you can attach it right on top of the other two blasters. So you've got this weird mega cannon ax thing. So yeah, Skids is all armed and ready for battle. Now let's get Skids transformed into vehicle mode. And as I said earlier, his transformation is very similar to the Generation 1 toy. Now the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and bring the arms out like so. And then flip this whole chest section up, separated it, separating it from the torso. And his head's going to go right through the hood of the vehicle. Now what we're gonna do is take the waist section, this red section right here, and just bring this up. while kind of bringing the legs down. So you're kind of collapsing him onto himself. And I find it easier to right here, just go ahead and peg the legs together. So you've got that going on. And we'll go ahead and flip those wheels back also. Now what we're gonna do is rotate the wheels around like so said tight joints and then bring the arms in under the hood now what you're going to do is make sure that the ports are facing out and then we're going to bring the arms down now the hood's going to want to come with you a lot bring the arms down and make sure that the arms slot into this little section right here kind of lines up Sometimes it can be a little tricky. Get that to line up just right and it should slot right into place. It took me a while to figure out why those wouldn't attach just right. But as you can see, it's kind of designed to fit right there. Now what we're gonna do is bring these black sections down and just kind of collapse skids up and into himself. And then once you've got this going on, just kind of squeeze, get everything together. Don't shut the doors just yet. They'll snap into place. These little tabs on the doors line up to the slots right there on the side. Do that on both sides. <clears throat> and then try your best to get the roof to attach right there. There is tabs, but mine will not connect securely. So I'm 
kind of stuck with that. And there we have skids in vehicle mode and not a bad looking vehicle. A great homage to the original Generation 1 toy. I absolutely despise the clear windows in his vehicle mode because you can see all of the robot junk there on the inside. And you know me, I, I just absolutely hate that. Love the pinstripes all along the vehicle. Looks really, really good. You got the sun roof. Sun, I can't talk tonight. You got the sun roof right there. And you can see that's translucent plastic as well. You can see the pins on the arms through the sunroof. The details from robot mode carry over with the Autobot symbol in the front of the vehicle right here. The wheels, the front are clip-ons where the back are pinned in and he actually, he rolls really, really good. Now let's do a comparison of Legacy Skids with his Generation 1 counterpart and they look so good together. Though he really needs some chrome rims. Other than that, perfect collar match. Hasbro, you did a great job with Skids here. Now you can integrate the weapons in Skids vehicle mode. I've got the combined weapon right there so you can put that on top. So he's rolling into battle that way. You can also pop everything apart to separate them. And there are ports here on the side so you can put a weapon on each side of the vehicle and this cannon blaster thing right there like so and let's check this that is also blast effect compatible and that's a perfect collar match right there so there you go guys there is skids in vehicle mode and now for some quick size comparisons here is transformers legacy deluxe class skids with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Skids, and something I just noticed, Legacy Skids has these ports on top of his arms. I wish he had them on the sides, that way he could peg his weapons in, just like the G1 toy. And Legacy Leader Class Laser Optimus Prime. Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Skids is a great homage to the original Generation 1 toy. The color scheme's the same, the paint deco's the same, and the transformation is very familiar. That being said, I wish the vehicle mode was better and that it tabbed in more secure. That's about my only real complaints with the figure. But it is so cool to finally have Skids once again in the mainline series. So there you go guys, Transformers Deluxe Class Legacy Skids. So, does the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Skids belong in your collection? Well, if you're an old school G1-er like me, absolutely. This is a great homage to the original Generation 1 toy. Newer fans who didn't grow up with G1 may not really dig skids because of his weird alt mode. I mean, that is pure 80s right there. That being said, skids is pretty much an okay Transformers toy. Great robot mode, transformation's decent, but the vehicle mode I find lacking. It just doesn't tab together well, and just something to me seems off about it. But that may just be me. So. Yeah, if you see Skids on the shelf and you're a G1-er, don't hesitate. Pick him up. I think you're really going to like this guy, faults aside. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have this new Super Thanks button that YouTube is now activated on my channel. I also have channel memberships. And I want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hooah!